thoughts are very powerful. You don't really have to do much to manifest. <laughs> it's, it's really your thoughts. The whole point of this video is that your thoughts are creating. That's why you do not have to take any type of massive action. You don't have to force anything. I would say inspired action is the way to go, which is that if you feel moved to do something, just follow your intuition with it. Okay, peace, beautiful family. This is Danielle, and the channel is Fly Girls Manifesting. So as you guys can see, I'm outside, and today's video is going to be about whether you should be focusing on taking inspired action, or do you even need any type of action to manifest? I get this question a lot, and um, it's something that I've been practicing to be able to manifest things with no action and I want to also contemplate is there really a such thing as no action um, I'm here to tell you whether people tell you this or not you're always going to be taking action especially if you are a person who is like me where you're always wanting to move forward you're always wanting to be thinking about your desires and accepting and aligning with your desires. I used to struggle with whether I should take inspired action or whether I should just lay in my bed and just think positive thoughts or whether I should meditate on things. And what I've learned is that there's no action required to manifest because your thoughts are always manifesting your body is literally manifesting the nutrients that you need to survive so there's always action being done whether you force it or not now have I manifested things without taking action well I mean my thoughts and meditation that's action and yes I have what do I suggest for people who are looking to manifest like a job situation and you don't want to have to put forth any force effort I would say to go into your imagination or if you're looking to manifest your specific person I would say to go into your imagination everything that you could ever desire to have resides within you and so there's no action required for you to manifest things because just the simple fact that you're alive and that you're conscious is action it is a part of your quote-unquote taking action here's what I would suggest for people who are looking for a solution to people who tell you that you need to take hold on one second this is what happens when you film in the park other people are talking too hey sis Hello. how you doing <laughs> um, so what I was saying is that there is no action needed, in my opinion, to manifest anything. All you need to do is align with your desire. And once you align internally with your inner conversations, your self-talk, when you align with your daily actions, even if that's meditation, even if that's laying down on a bed and daydreaming, that is still a part of taking action. I've had things come to me through email, through um, people calling me for opportunities, and I didn't even lift a finger. So I don't believe in the concept of forcing your 3D reality by taking action. I know there are some YouTubers who will tell you, like, hey, you know, you need to get up and live your life. And I truly do believe that, like, I would not want to just be a couch potato for the rest of my life, not manifesting my true desires. I, that's not what I desire to, to be. I like to be out in nature. I like to be around people. I like to be able to focus my thoughts and my energy and align with the things that I desire to have. So that is the way that I look at taking action. Right now, I'm in the park. And I was walking around, and as I was walking around, I was listening to my positive meditation uh, tapes and, and just like listening to some really great affirmations. And then I started to get what I want to go into is inspired to take action. So what I would suggest for people who are, who are thinking that you can manifest things out of thin blue air, or the clear blue air, or thin air, am I saying it right? is to start to make that assumption that you can things can fall into your lap things are always working out in your favor people love me people just 
just want to bless me these are my affirmations and the reason why I decided to have these affirmations is because there's a lot of things in my life that I had to work through to believe that I was even worthy of having someone give me something and I didn't have to lift a finger to get it and once I started to see that like wow I don't have to take action I have to align so this is what I would tell you inspired action is really you aligning with your heart's true desire if you get nothing else from this video please trust and believe that you are manifesting all day every day um, you do not have to take action <laughs> to manifest things because even your thoughts is quote-unquote taking action so you don't have to force anything you don't have to um, make yourself feel like you're not doing something right because things are not working out in your favor at the moment there's always movement so i want you to affirm that things are always working out in your favor even if you feel like they're not i want you to affirm that things are always working out in your favor there's always movement you're always attracting things and i know you guys don't like that word attraction but it's the truth there are many universal laws the law of assumption is my favorite at the moment because it works the best but i have studied many universal laws and we are energetic beings your thoughts are going to be your greatest power so you yes you can manifest without taking action because your thoughts is actually manifesting all right i have one more thing because i do have like a um a note that i want to put in here i want to talk about the last thing is going with your intuition i think when you're taking inspired action it should be you going with what feels right because inspired action won't feel like taking action at all it'll just feel natural and for me just recently I manifested two things just like simple little things like I wanted um, a sushi dinner because I don't live in a neighborhood that has sushi so I decided that I was going to manifest um, being able to have someone offer me to either go for sushi and pay for it or bring me some sushi and lo and behold just two days ago I thought about it it's something that I truly desire to have I you know I love it and I thought about it and let it go and I only the only action I took was my thoughts I think that's a pretty sweet deal the only action you have to take is your thoughts somebody signed me up and lo and behold, somebody said, hey, um, would you like to go for sushi? My treat. <laughs> and I was so excited. I was like, oh my goodness, you just, you just manifested sushi, girl. Did you? It's something so small to someone else. But for me, it just helps me to realize that I'm actually a master manifester. Um, and if anything, for anyone who's listening, your thoughts are very powerful. You don't really have to do much to manifest. <laughs> It's, it's really your thoughts that's the whole point of this video and do not doubt what you're feeling do not doubt what you know is is yours to have and once you decide that something is yours it's on the way it's already done so with that being said please like share comment what I want you guys to do is to be inspired by this video and to leave me a comment for sure to let me know if this has helped you in any way all right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.